In this video using Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you how to create this split depth mask title effect. And then for those of you who are feeling extra adventurous, I'm gonna show you how to create this as a reusable effect using Apple Motion. And of course, if you are a Patreon member, you can download that finished effect and use it in your videos right now. To create the split depth title effect, you're first gonna wanna find a shot that has a clear subject, and we are just going to push Option, click and drag, and that will duplicate that clip. With this top clip selected, let's find a frame where we can clearly see our entire subject. It's not obscured by anything. From there, we can come over here to the magic wand and select Add Magnetic Mask, or you can push Control Command M. I'm just gonna create a basic selection of our subject, making sure that we get the feet. And we're also going to wanna make sure we're not selecting anything we don't want, like the background. So I'm gonna push option and click between the hands and the body. That way we don't accidentally get that sky. And sometimes I'll actually create additional points around our subject, pushing option, and that will just give us a better mask in the end. Once I'm happy with my mask, I can go to the top left and press analyze. Now that it's fully analyzed, we can go ahead and push done. And if we disable the underlying layer, we should have a clear cutout of our subject. It doesn't need to be a 100% perfect cutout, just a pretty good job will do the trick. Now that we have our subject cut out, we can go ahead and add in a title layer. I'm gonna push R to get the range selection tool and click the topmost clip so that it selected the entire range. After that, I'm gonna push Control T, which will give me a title which is the same duration. After that, I'm gonna push option and down arrow here on Final Cut Pro 11, and that will allow us to place the title in between the two clips. So as we move through the clip, we should now see our subject cutting out our title, and we could go ahead and change this title to say whatever we like. I'm gonna be cheeky and write subscribe. With our title completed in the way that we want it, I'm gonna push option and click and drag that title up above everything. And so we should have a nice clear title over the top. Make sure you do not move this title whatsoever. It has to match with the underlying title for this effect to work properly. From there, we're gonna go over to the right side and I'm gonna recommend you disable the drop shadow if you've added one and the face. From there, we're going to enable the outline and then press show and we can adjust these outline settings to our liking. After that, we'll go over and change the color and I'm just gonna set it to white so it perfectly matches the title underneath, but you can of course set this to whatever color that you like. Now that we have our outline set up, you'll notice that this outline's actually adding to the thickness of the underlying letters. So if I were to increase the outline thickness, you'll notice that those underlying letters look really thick and we definitely don't want that. We only want this outline to show up wherever our subject is being cut out. What we'll do is duplicate our cutout layer that we created, and I'm gonna push Option and click and drag that up above everything. This is going to mask out the underlying layers. From there, we'll go to the top right, and we're gonna change our blend mode from normal over to stencil alpha. So this is telling Final Cut Pro to cut out the underlying layers wherever our subject's alpha channel is. So you can see we have a clear cutout wherever our outline is, and we can also see our original subject. From there, we'll select this topmost cutout layer and the underlying text outline layer, right click, and we're going to throw them into a compound clip. This is going to make it so that that outline is only being cut out within that compound clip. It's not going to cut out all of the underlying layers, thus giving back this original background that we had. And what's great is if we go into that outline and adjust the width on our outline, so I'm gonna go way too far with it, that outline is only being revealed wherever our subject is, and we're not adding any thickness to our original title. So pushing play, we now have this super cool looking cutout effect of our title and our subject is revealing the outline. Now this might seem like a lot of steps and you only want to ever do this once, but some of you crazy users out there are going to want to use this all of the time in your videos. And that is where Apple Motion is going to absolutely save your bacon. So what we're going to do is recreate this exact same effect over in Apple Motion and from there we'll have a reusable effect that we can use all of the time in our videos. So to pull off this effect, let's go ahead and select the final cut effect. You can set your preset frame rate and duration to whatever you typically like to edit with in Final Cut Pro. It really doesn't matter. 
and from there we can push open. The first thing we of course need is a title layer, so I'm just going to select my title tool, click and type wherever I like. We'll go to the inspector, we'll go to our format settings, we'll increase the scale, we'll set the alignment to be centered, we'll go to properties and right click on the position and select reset parameters so it's right in the middle there. Once we're happy with that placement, go ahead and drag that title underneath the effect source. So if we hide the effect source, we should be able to see the title. And in fact, if I go ahead and just add a simple mask, we can clearly see how this effect will be working. So we have our title underneath everything. From there, we need an outline layer. To do so, we're going to select the group that contains our title. And we could just actually call this original title group. And with that group selected, I'm going to right click and select make clone layer. You can also achieve that with K, which is my preferred way of doing it. From there, you should get a new group with a clone layer. And we are just going to drag that clone layer up above the effect source. So now we can clearly see our title in place. The reason we cloned the group and not the original title is because now if we move this title around because it's contained within that group, the position of our clone layer is going to match it perfectly. So if we change the position, scale, rotation, anything like that, we will see those changes happen to the clone layer. If we instead only cloned the title and not the group containing it, none of those position data changes would happen to the clone layer. So it would completely throw our effect off. From there, we're going to find the group containing our clone layer, and we can just call this the outline group. And with that outline group selected, we'll head on up to our filters. We're going to go to border and we'll select stroke. You might be wondering why I'm not using the original outline effect from the title. Well, I just find that the stroke gets better results and it's a lot faster to process inside of your timeline when you use the stroke filter. So that's why I like to use the stroke filter. You can use whatever you like. From there, we'll find this handy setting called hide source at the bottom of the stroke filter. So if I check that, you'll immediately see our effect taking place. So as I move this subscribe layer around behind our subject, we see the original title as well as the outline in front. There's a few other things we need to do to make sure this effect really works well though. One is you might not want the outline to be revealed on the underlying text. So if that's the case, you can follow these next steps. What we need to do is find our outline group that has the stroke filter, right click and select add image mask. Now we need to tell it to use the effect source as the masking tool. So we'll just drag that up to the image mask. And so now you can see that where our effect source is, is only where that outline is being revealed. However, motion by default is going to deselect the effect source. So we just need to go ahead and fix that by rechecking that box. So now our stroke layer is only going to be revealed wherever that effect source is. From there, we can go ahead and delete the mask that's cutting out our effect source, and it should look something just like this. Now we are ready to send this over to Final Cut Pro so we can use this over and over again. But there's a huge thing you need to know, and that is that if you do not publish all of the title parameters over Final Cut Pro, you're not going to have a lot of control over this specific title. This is because we chose a Final Cut Pro effect instead of a Final Cut Pro title. I don't have time to get into the difference here, but it was very important that we use the effect to pull this off. So to make sure you have full control over your title, make sure you select your title and publish stuff like the face. So we'll click on this down arrow and push publish, and then we can publish the coloring there, opacity, all of that stuff. But additionally, you'll want to go over to format and publish stuff like the font, the size, alignment, so on and so forth. Go down this entire list, right-clicking and selecting publish on each and every parameter that you can. And don't forget to go ahead and publish the text here, which you're going to have to go over to this down arrow and select publish. This is super important so that you can very easily change what your title says. So to double check that you have all your parameters, go to Project Publishing, and you should see all the various parameters you've published. And once you feel you are ready, go ahead and push Command S to save it, which will allow us to publish to Final Cut. And we could just call this the Split Depth Title and throw it into whatever category. Of course, this is going over on my Patreon with a lot more features. So I'm just going to throw this into FCB's Patreon. 
And I'm actually going to throw it into the title category and push publish. So now rather than going through all of these annoying compound clips, we instead, I'll just have a base layer here. We're going to have our cutout layer, which we did previously using the magnetic mask. With that magnetic mask layer selected, we can see the background is cut out here. We can go over to our effects and we'll just look up the split depth title and apply that as an effect to the topmost layer. And just like that, we can see our effect taking place, revealing the title with its outline and the parameters that we published will be over here on the right. So we can go ahead and change the color of that. You could publish stuff like drop shadow. You could publish stuff like the stroke filter. All of this stuff is going to be in my Patreon download. So make sure you check out the links below to pick that up. If this video was helpful to you in any way, consider pressing that like button as it does help tremendously. Also consider helping me reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That would mean so much to me. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.